Okay guys, I'm gonna go through the solutions to the problems that you had um, in class today on the extra review. This first problem, this is dealing with the exterior angle theorem. And the exterior angle theorem states that if you add the sum of the two remote interior angles, that means the one that's not adjacent to it, it's gonna equal the exterior angle. So 5x plus 3x plus 8, equals 160. I'm going to go ahead and put like terms together. 8x plus 8 equals 160. Subtract 8 from both sides. You get 8x is equal to 152. So x equals 19. Now, it's important to remember to find what they're looking for. So you're not done yet. It said find the measure of angle B. Well, this is angle B right here. So you've got to go back and plug in X. So you've got 3 times 19 plus 8. Okay, 3 times 19 is going to give you... Plus 8 is going to give you 65. I'm trying not to pick up the calculator. All right, there is another way to do this problem. If you did not see this... Okay, another way that you could have set it up, I'm not going to finish it, but I'll just show you. If you notice that these guys are a linear pair, okay, that's 20. You know that all three angles of any triangle add up to 180. So you could do 5x plus 3x plus 8 plus 20 equals 180. And you could solve for x that way. Once again, not forgetting to go back and plug in because that's the answer that they wanted. Okay, so your next problem whoa, dealt with this one and you have parallel lines, okay, because you've got arrows here showing that these guys are parallel. So whenever you have parallel lines, you're going to look for corresponding angles or alternate interior angles. In this case, I see that this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles. So that means that this angle up here is going to be 30 degrees. You know that all the triangles add up to 180 again, so looking at this triangle right here, if I take off 30 and 60, okay, that's 90, then A has to be 90. Remember, don't go by looks of the diagram, because they're not usually drawn to scale. All right, so to get B, you could do B a couple of ways. You could look at this angle and this angle as alternate interior angles, because that's acting as a transversal which means B would have to be 15, because 45 plus 15 would give you 60. Or you could look at this whole straight line right here, knowing that it has to add up to 180, you could subtract this, this, and this from 180 to get B. Next problem. This deals with the angle triangle thumb, sum theor theorem. Excuse me. So that means that all three angles have to add up to 180. So you've got 10x plus 10 plus 4x plus 8 plus 4x equals 180. Okay, all three angles add up to 180 in any triangle. So I'm going to put like terms together. I've got 10x, 4x, and 4x. That gives me 18x. And then I've got 10 and 8, my constants, plus 18 equals 180. I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides and you're going to get 18x equals 162 and when you divide you're going to get x equals 9. Okay, again, don't just stop and solve for x. Make sure you're answering the right question because it asks you to find the measure of angle E. So that means you've got to go back and plug in to this expression, because here's E. So you're going to plug in, again, plug in X. You've got 4 times 9 plus 8, and that's 36 plus 8, which is going to give you 44. So that's your final answer. Next problem, last one. Okay, looking at this picture, we've got these two angles that are marked. That means that those two angles are congruent. 
you know that vertical angles are congruent to each other. So if that's 50, then A is 50. Just kind of draw a little arrow there. And you know that these two angles are congruent. If that's 5x, that means this is 5x. So we're going to go ahead and set these all equal to 180 because you've got three angles for a triangle. So we've got 5x plus 5x plus 50 equals 180. That's going to give me 10x plus 50 equals 180. Subtract 50 from both sides. You get 10x is equal to 130. So when you divide, you get x is equal to 13. All right, here we go again. Don't just solve for x. Okay? I hope you remember this for the quiz. Go back and make sure you're answering the right question. This time they wanted the measure of angle s. So to find the measure of angle S, you're going to go look. S is going to be 5x. So once again, you're going to plug in for x. That's going to give you 5 times 13, which is going to give you 65 degrees. Okay, that's it. Hope that helped.